Carps love peanut butter. I'm Colty. And I'm Franklin. And this is Factor Cap, where we test TikTok trends to see if they're real or bullshit. So we have our carps right here. And over here, we got the peanut butter. Oh, no. Okay. We got to see if they're going to eat it off our fingers right now. Uh-oh. Yeah. All right, Colty. Wait, Colty, what are you doing? What? Not that finger. No. That's not even legal. Yeah, so uh, how much for one of the carps? They're not for sale. You sicko. The other day, I woke up and I realized two things. Number one, I need more friends. Number two, I want a pet iguana. So of course, I downloaded this dope app called Yuba where I met my friend Justice. He told me that he lived in Florida, which was perfect because that's exactly where you find all the invasive iguanas. So of course, me and my new friend decided to go catch some mini Godzillas. We realized this was not going to be an easy task because they run like Usain Bolt and they swim like Michael Phelps. And here's me catching my very first pet iguana. But we're not done just yet. We still got to get one for Justice, but unfortunately, he was not having too much luck. There was no way that I was going to be the only one having a pet iguana. So of course, I caught my boy one as well. <laughs> so glad I made an amazing new friend on this app, Zill the Iguana. Here's a video of me pranking my friend Noemi with party snaps. We had a total of three prank locations, with our first location being underneath the mat of the front door, and our second location being the chair she always uses, and our final location being the toilet and hopefully she doesn't pee on herself. Now it's time to sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. You can tell she was a little annoyed, but not too annoyed because she still had a smile on her face. But let's see what happens after this. got the strongest grip challenge yo boys what are you doing oh my god okay well never mind that squeeze this all right squeeze 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 all right let's see what you got tate hey 102 yo campbell what are you eating bro okay well never mind that squeeze this go 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 all right let's see what you got hey 153 let's go john what are you looking at bro okay well never mind that squeeze this all right, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Let's see what you got. <laughs> hey, 73. <laughs> Yo, Gabby, what are you doing? Okay, well, never mind that. Squeeze this. All right, let's see what you got. Yo, 163? Every time my wife and I have sex, I take a dollar and I put it in an envelope next to the bed. At the end of the year, I take that money and I get her a Christmas gift. So far this year, I've made enough to get her a McDonald's McChicken sandwich.
Hey, Danielle, you want to have a sleepover tonight? Sure. I'm a sleep talker, though. Is that cool? Yeah, you can sleep on the ground. All right. What the fuck? What to wear on your first day of school. So first, you're going to want a fun button down, as well as an appropriate pair of shorts. A sophisticated blazer, in case you get cold. Personally, I like to belt my blazers to accentuate my waist. I popped on my favorite sneakers. Super cute. Moving on to hair. I decided to do a high ponytail to keep the hair out of my face. I added my mask. Don't forget your lunch. Your cute school bag. Where you can carry all of your things. Either sunglasses or your normal school glasses. And that's the look. Make it through the whole challenge. After y'all completed level one, it was on to level two. There's Chris, making it through level two. Jordan through level two. Me through level two. Next up, level three, and not a good start. Chris clearing level three. Jordan clearing level three. And me clearing level three. On to level four. Chris clearing level four. Jordan clearing level four. And me clearing level four. On to the next level, level five. Literally our height. Things are getting intense. Ah, uh, team Chris. Me clearing level five. Let's go. Not even close. Jordan. Oh, almost. Chris. Hey, makes it. <laughs> Let's go. Jordan completed level five. After that, the boys called the quits, but I was not giving up. Now on to level six. Me getting domed in the head. Nope, fail. Fail again. But on the last try, we finally got it. Let's go. Get ready for the next challenge. Myra, he just wanted to see your panties. No, I was smart. I took them off. So the other day, I decided to prank my roommates using the world's hottest gummy bear. It is so damn hot that most people cry once they eat it. I placed it in the main bowl with the other gummies, and that's when the worst thing happened. My dumbass ate the one I was supposed to prank him with. <laughs> Ain't no fucking 
fucking eat the gummy I was supposed to prank you guys with. What gummy? <laughs> what were you supposed to prank us with? The hot gummy was placed inside the middle of the bowl, so I was eating the ones on the edge, but it must have got moved. Oh my god! Oh. Not gonna lie, this is pretty embarrassing. Most of my pranks go fairly well. Um, yeah, this was just a huge fail. Luckily, I only had the gummy in my mouth for three seconds because I knew exactly what that was once it was in there. But it was still making my eyes water and it was hot as hell. I bought a second gummy and I'll be redoing this prank tonight. Fingers crossed. The other day, I decided that I was going to prank people at the mall using these bathroom signs. I knew if I wanted to pull this prank off, I was going to have to be super fast and stealthy when changing the signs. Luckily, none of the security of the mall see me change out the signs. Basically, the idea behind this prank is once somebody walks into the washroom, I'm going to run over, take the sign off, so once they run back out, they're going to be very confused on why they walked into the wrong one. These reactions are going to be so funny, like and share for our next video. Bathroom sign prank at the mall. Hope security does not catch me. This is a very bad, bad idea. But it is okay because I am a very bad, bad boy. Time to confuse them. Ha ha ha. Prank time. The other day, I bought a black morph suit to dress up as a mannequin inside the wish house to pull some pranks. Safe to say, I probably should have gotten a bigger size because this thing was way too tight. But after some pulling and stretching, we finally got it on. Now that I got my full outfit on, it's time to pull some pranks on some TikTokers. The other day, when I was filming a workout video at the Wish House, something went terribly wrong. Everything was going smoothly until Carl decided to use the squat rack. When he goes over to start his squats, he realizes the bar is too high, so he has to take off the weights. There's clearly more weight on the right side, so look what happens. And it was at this moment that I knew Carl clearly got no brain cells, and I was about to whoop his ass. This is a smoke bomb tie dye experiment on my friend's shoes. So the reason why we're using Carl's shoes is he knows my stepsister is off limits, but he has still been texting her. Now, I believe they have secret texting codes, and I can't seem to figure them out. The first text message that I saw Carl send my stepsister was, See you for six. The second thing that Carl sent her was, Are you H? And my stepsister replied with yes. If you know what these codes mean, please let me know on Instagram. Now it's time for Carl's reaction. So my boy Carl, his shoes and watch. Yo, Carl. Bro. We gave him a little uh, custom for you, bro. Look at those, pretty fire, right? Bro. And your watch? That ugly ass watch of yours, bro, 10 times. Yo! Make sure to like and follow for the next video. Time to pull a prank on one of my homies. As you can see here, he's a little bit occupied with this girl on the couch. So when the right moment happens, we're gonna be switching this girl's hand with mine and see how long it takes for him to notice. My boy looks way too at peace right now, so it's time to ruin that for him. Alright, it's time to switch hands, let's see what he does. The question is, how long is it going to take him to notice? This has got to be one of the most awkward things I have ever filmed. The other day, I decided to prank my friends by hiding in the drawer above the fridge. 
After I stubbed my toe and cursed a couple dozen times, I was ready to get up inside with some silly string. Definitely was a little more tricky to get inside than expected, but we were able to pull it off. Once one of my roommates helped me move the chair, it was time to wait for our first victim. This laser is so powerful it can set objects on fire. So of course, I decided to use it to scare and confuse my friends. Basically, once anyone walks near one of the balloons, I'll be popping them using the laser. Let's see what kind of reactions we can get. Oh my god. Dude! Come on, bro! Like... <laughs> oh, damn, bro. Come you piss on yourself? Yes. Bro, you're such an asshole. Yesterday, I created a huge Dolly Rancher and I placed my dad's phone inside it, and this was his reaction. Hey, what's going on? Uh, I just uh, finished up making a video for TikTok. World's largest Dolly Rancher. Cool. Yeah. I like that. Yeah, yeah. It's, uh, can I lick more, it? No, nah, yes, you can actually, but it's also your phone. What? What do you, what do you mean by that? What, what, what? Your phone's in the center. Get Watch you. this. Watch this. I'm calling it. You need a new phone. It's way too old. Colton? What the fuck? <laughs> you, should, you should answer it. Who is it? The phone still works. You, you gotta figure a way to get it out of there. Alright, well, stay tuned for when we drop it off a 100 foot building. Just the other day, I decided to go find rattlesnakes in the desert and it did not end well. This was my very first time in a desert and I had no idea on what to expect. Personally, I thought rattlesnakes and scorpions were the only dangerous thing in the desert, but clearly I was wrong. It was at this moment I stepped on a jumping cactus and I kicked myself with it in the other leg. I see where they got their name, the jumping cactus, because this thing came out of nowhere. And now for the real challenge, to get this thing out of my leg. These cacti are barbed and basically what that means is they go in very easily but they're extremely hard to get out. Every time I took a stick and I tried to pull it out, the thing would just snap every single time. Luckily two large branches did the trick and I had to pull super hard to get that out. And as soon as I think the whole thing's over, no, we're just getting started. Now I gotta pull out all these little things out of my leg. I was really struggling to pull these things out of my leg, but then again, my pull game's never been good anyways. Safe to say my first day in the desert was not a fun one, but I promise you I'm gonna find a rattlesnake. Stay tuned. As some of you may know, the other day we broke into Cory Matsy's house. The childhood star from That's So Raven and Cory in the house. Since there was security in the front, we decided to jump the wall to let into his backyard. All the doors at the bottom were locked, however, we found a ladder and we used it to get onto the balcony. This was our last possible way to get in and luckily we had some luck. Now it's time to go in serious stealth mode. We ended up finding Cory's room and he was not alone. Man's had not one, but two girls in his bed. I ended up finding his personal watch that was worth over $10,000, so of course, that's exactly what we yeah. snagged. Now we can blackmail Cory and has no choice but to be my friend if he wants his watch back. We gotta go, bro, we gotta go. And this is when shit seriously go, 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 hit the fan. They closed a the giant gate on us and we had no choice but to hide. We ended up jumping to someone's Bentley that had tinted windows. It was our only choice. I decided to pull one of the meanest pranks on my friend. The plan for this prank was to buy 10 pounds of Jolly Ranchers and make a giant one and place my buddy's phone inside it. With current being the future of banking, I grabbed my current debit card and went off to the store. Now that we had all the materials that we needed for this prank, it was time to set it into motion. And of course, I grabbed all of my friends because there was a lot of unwrapping that needed to be done. Once all of the colors were divided and unwrapped, we started making one of TikTok's largest Jolly Ranchers. And now that our Jolly Rancher is halfway done, it's time to add the main ingredient. My buddy's phone and of course his current debit card as well. And Landa, my bro, what is that background? Is that James? If you're wondering why we're doing this to our boy's phone, he's been on his phone way too much and he needs to start spending more time with the boys. My bro Landon is gonna be so mad when he sees what we did to his phone. He's gonna absolutely flip. All we got is a few more layers to go. We got some green apple and some grape and then she's all done. 
Landon is very unpredictable, so when he sees what we did, I have no idea how he's gonna react. Make sure you stay tuned to see his reaction. So today I decided to pull a prank on my housemates, and it's all gonna take place in this elevator tonight. The first thing that I had to do was turn off all the light bulbs, and as you can see, they were pretty hot. The reason why I want to pull this prank is because a lot of the girls in my content house believe it's haunted. Apparently things have been falling over, lights have been flickering, but I mean... Might as well take advantage of the situation and scare the living crap out of the girls. For the next step, I grabbed my wireless speaker and my black water. No, the water has nothing to do with the prank, but I'm super dehydrated from last night. But for the speaker, I place it inside the wall. The plan for this prank is once they enter the elevator by themselves, I'm going to blast a grudge sound, and this camera with night vision is going to catch it all. My housemates are definitely going to hate me after this one. Stay tuned for the next video. Yesterday in our content house, I pulled a prank on one of our housemates. Basically how I pulled it off is first I removed all the lights from the elevator. Once that was done, I placed a speaker inside the wall. And since there's a TV show already going down in our house, there's a camera inside the elevator that has night vision. Once someone enters the elevator by themselves, I'm going to blast the sound that the grudge makes right before she comes to get you. And by the looks of it, our first victim is going to be Isabel Wallace. Today we're going to be doing an experiment with the world's largest gummy bear. From the small video down below, you see if you put normal gummies in water, they get way bigger. I tried this experiment last week with a red gummy bear, but I messed up because I used water with chlorine in it. And on top of that, to make it worse, I left the whole thing in the sun so the gummy bear just dissolved. So we're back at it again, and this time we're going to do the experiment correctly. From what I've read, this gummy bear should get six times bigger than it currently is. Also, the way of spraying the water into the bucket kind of reminds me of the way I would piss as a kid, basically all over the place. Now that we have a full tub of water, it is time to bring this thing inside and get right to the experiment. Didn't really think this because I spilled water all over myself. In goes the gummy bear, and now it's time to wait. All I hope is that this container is big enough for the gummy bear. Stay tuned for tomorrow to see the results. Just the other day, I bought a 10 pound gummy bear, and here's why. I saw this video on TikTok of a girl placing gummies in water, and overnight they became absolutely huge. And that is exactly why I decided to try to bring this experiment to the next level. And from what I read online, this gummy bear was supposed to get six times larger than its original size. And if you're watching this right now, the gummy bear has already been in the water for over three days. And at the end of this video, we're going to see the results. Wait, I actually take that back. We're showing the results right now. And to be honest, it was not very impressive. The gummy bear definitely grew, but it was not six times larger than its original size. It was extremely squishy and it felt absolutely disgusting picking it up. But we're not done yet, we're actually going to throw this thing off the balcony just for some fun. Since the results were boring, here's a video of the gummy bear exploding. If you guys have any other experiment ideas, drop them down in the comment section. The other day at the beach, me and my friends found something similar to quicksand. The best way to describe what it felt like jumping on this sand would be like jumping on a giant waterbed. It was very easy to sink into as you'll see here, but it was not easy to get out. After I had my fun and struggled to get out, my buddy Greg wanted to try as well. Oh no, step bro, I'm stuck. <laughs> Are you actually stuck though? Can you get out? No, what the fuck? The Lego! Now Greg is trying to convince us that he's actually stuck and he can't get out and it really hurts to try to pull his legs out. So we're just gonna leave him here to see if he's actually Hi, telling Greg. the truth. Tide's coming in, you better get out soon! Better think fast because the tide's coming in. <laughs> if you're stuck bro, it's not our problem. Bye Greg. Or fishy food now. Every single day for the next 30 days, I'm going to be giving myself a new challenge to complete. And to kick it off for day one, I decided to see if I could do a backflip on the paddleboard. I also decided that it would be fun to take our new puppy out on the water, but that was a terrible idea. Basically okay. when I fell in, he thought it was drowning and jumped right in to save me. Let's be honest though, that was pretty cute, but we brought him back to shore then it was back on the trying to land this backflip. Now we were so close on landing this one, but then I slip and fall right in. After that, all my flips kind of went downhill from there, but at least the white boats were way more entertaining. But I was not going to stop until I landed a backflip.
After multiple tries, we finally land one and complete our challenge. Make sure to stay tuned for our next challenge and give me lots of ideas down in the comment section. Carps love peanut butter. Praying time on my family and friends. Tonight is movie night and since I got to choose the movie, I chose The Nun. This is my boy Chase. Nobody knows that he's home and he's going to be the one dressing up as The Nun. This right here is the open he's going to be wearing. Okay, if I saw someone looking like this in my house, I would totally piss my pants. While my friends and family are watching the movie, Chase is going to be hiding in this storage unit right here behind the couch. Time for Chase to get in his hiding spot. To capture everyone's reactions, we have a hidden camera right here behind the TV. Right before a scary scene starts, Chase is going to pop up behind my family and friends and scare the living crap out of them. And yes, the lights will be turned off. Sorry to say this, but stay tuned for part two. I recently made some extra money trading on the Exodus Crypto Wallet app. So of course, with the funds, I bought a human hamster ball. Whoever gets to the other side of the pool in the shortest period of time wins the challenge. I'm up first and let's see how long it takes me to get across the pool. If I'm going to be honest, I'm pretty competitive and I was almost certain I was going to win this challenge. I ended up finishing with a total of 24 seconds. Yo. Malcolm's up next and let's just hope I don't embarrass him with my fast time. Okay, he's moving a little bit faster than I expected. Looks like I underestimated him. He finished with a total of 18 seconds in the end. Two more contestants to go. And for our third contestant, we have Sam up next. Let's see what he gets for time. I mean, I don't think he's going to be able to beat me since it was pretty fast, so my guess he's going to take third place. Somehow he beat me and got 20 seconds. Rupert's up next and starting off with a nice leap. 18 seconds is the time to beat for first place. And this man is absolutely flying through the pool right now. Wins the challenge with a whopping 15 seconds. For first place, he gets $350 through the Exodus app. Time to pull a prank on my family and friends. This right here is my boy Chase, and nobody knows that he's home, and he's going to be dressing up as the nun. All right, in my opinion, this costume is pretty scary. Uh, and if I'm gonna be honest, if I saw someone like this dance in my house, I would probably freak out. He won't be dancing in the prank, but it's time to bring this prank over to the living room. Let's go on over. Tonight is movie night in our house, and every single weekend, someone new gets to choose the movie. Of course, it's my turn this time, and I chose The Nun. We have Chase over here, but he's actually gonna be hiding right in this hole while everyone's watching the movie, and when it's pitch black, and a scary scene shows up, he's gonna creep up behind someone and scare the living crap out of them. To capture everyone's reactions, we have a hidden camera right here behind the TV. See, I'm getting a little lost here. I'm supposed to be on this street, but somehow I ended up on that street. Got lost on the other street, and I don't know where the fuck I am. Maybe Canada. Who has the strongest grip challenge? Ellie, 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 squeeze this as hard as you can. Hey, 77, that's really good. Steffi, what are you doing? Oh my goodness, what's with you girls? Okay, squeeze this, squeeze this. 59. By the by the butt. Squeeze this as hard as you can. Okay, let's see what you got. 68. Hey, really good, really good. You're stuck? Fella, what are you doing? All right, after you squeeze this, I will help you get unstuck. Oh, damn. 87. Baby Khalifa, what are you doing? You eating a rose? Okay, never mind that. Squeeze this. Okay. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Yes. How? Hey, 67. This kid's so bad. This is my friend Chris, and we met through Fortnite. Let's just say that Chris is a Fortnite god, and every single time we play this game, he absolutely demolishes me. And as you can see right here, this guy rubs it in my face every single time as well. We're always having a blast together, but I think it's time that I beat him at his own game. It's been over three months since Chris and I played a game together, and little does he know, all I do is eat, sleep, and breathe this game. Any place, any time, no matter where I was, I was playing Fortnite. 
Chris has literally no idea on how good I got this game, and he's about to find out. And whoever loses the game will be punished. Hey, let's get it, baby! I got my first victory royale! Also, as we wait for the water to hit Chris's head, I don't know about you guys, but I'm super excited for Chapter 3 in Fortnite. Feels good to have a win. I'm sure everyone here knows who the Island Boys are. Well, today we're going to be turning one of them into an exploding watermelon. And basically how we're going to be doing that is cutting a hole in his head, emptying his brains, and filling it with 50,000 ore beads. When you add water to these things, they grow 50 times their size. So basically what we're doing right now is we're adding all the ore beads with a bunch of water. And then as soon as we're done that, we're going to seal it up. The pressure is going to keep on building and building and building until Island Boy goes kaboom. This is definitely something you're not going to want to miss on the live stream. But wait, it gets better. While we wait for Island Boy to explode, we get a very special guest. Come join.